Sydney, Asian shares rose to a one-month high on Thursday and were on track for their best annual performance since 2009, while commodity-driven currencies were buoyed by a rally in copper, which hit a four-year peak. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan was up 0.1% at 563.86 points, a level last visited in late November. It has rocketed 32% in the year so far. MSCI World Equity Index, which tracks shares in 47 countries, also held near record highs. It has surged 21.5% this year. Trade was light across the board with many market participants on holiday. Copper remained a standout trade, soaring for a ninth straight session on Wednesday to a level not seen since early 2014 on expectations of strong demand from top consumer China. Prices of the metal, considered a barometer for global growth and used widely in power and construction, are up 30% in the calendar year so far. Gold prices were also buoyant. Spot gold stayed within a striking distance of a four-week peak of 1,289 US dollars and 50 cents an ounce. The strength in metals boosted currencies of commodity exporting countries. The Australian dollar hovered near a more than two-month high while its New Zealand counterpart stayed at a two-minus one-half month top. The Canadian dollar was at its strongest in three weeks. In other currencies, the greenback slipped against the yen while the dollar index sagged to a three-week low as U.S. Treasury yields came off recent highs. Treasury 2-10S yield curve slipped below 52 basis points from almost 64 basis points last week. The dollar bears are getting their last licks in for 2017, perhaps foreshadowing of things to come in 2018, said Stephen Innes, head of trading for APAC at OANDA. The dollar index, which measures the greenback against other major currencies, is seen ending about 9% lower in 2017 as the reflation trade seen at the start of the year faded. It is down more than 3% on the yen. In commodities, Brent crude, the international benchmark for oil prices, held at 66.44 a barrel. U.S. crude was off 3 cents at 59 U.S. dollars and 61 cents after climbing to a 2 minus one half year high of 60 U.S. dollars and 1 cent on Tuesday. Editing by Sam Holmes